Layer 10. Well, hello and welcome once again. J76NY here, back with the crew of U48. There is a very high amount of stress on board the sh boat right now, uh, as we are surrounded by British uh, corvettes. We have a Kriegsmarine official on board. Uh, they intercepted us on the way back uh, to uh, La Rochelle, and uh, we had to dive and maneuver to get away from them, which we're in the process of doing. Uh, so, like I said, there is a high amount of stress. Uh, what there is not a high amount of on board the ship right now is oxygen. We have 7% air quality right now. Um, I'm going to try and get away from these guys so we can at least uh, come up and uh, replenish our air supply before we run into New Rochelle. Um, it is currently 2147, uh, so U48 is going to run due north. Uh, right now we are running at uh, our slowest speed, and we are at 110 meters. I may drop it down a little more. I'm going to go a little deeper, uh, just so we can pick up the pace a little bit, and hopefully uh, get away from these Corvettes that are just bugging us before our crew asphyxiates and dies, uh, particularly this guy, he's pretty important. Uh, so, taking a look at the map right now, we've got the warships. Oops. Uh, it's not quite dark enough that I would feel comfortable surfacing just yet. Um, but we are going to run, hopefully, into these guys' baffles once we get into a position uh, where we're a little bit further away. Um, we're going to come up to the surface, but uh, right now, let's get the ventilation going here. I don't think we have those, uh, I think they're charcoal strips or whatever it is. Um, that help uh, scrub the air of carbon monoxide. I have my doubts uh, whether your uh, U-48 is going to get out of this alive or not, but we're going to do everything we can to try here. Uh, hopefully these guys don't turn around. So far, they, it doesn't look like they've picked us up at all, so uh, that is a good thing. We're really going to have to come up to the surface pretty soon. Or uh, U-48 and uh, Captain Krautman and company are all going to die. Alright, so we are uh, running with our deck awash. Um, a lot of our crew is just really <laughs> in a bad place. Uh, why is he on the exterior? Did he go up to the sir, to the conning tower or something? The hell is he? Yeah, I did uh, bring us up deck of wash to try and get our uh, air quality up. It appears to be working, kind of. Yeah, we're up to 73%, so... Uh, Dr. Uh, Ernst Prines yeah, 
getting uh, getting a lot of practice with his uh, also got a lot of water isn't good there he is good doctors tending to uh, this poor chap here Or maybe he's being tended to himself. Doctor, what are you doing, boy? Uh, all right, well, you got more work to do. So get off the radio and go help, uh, go help Schwartz. Yeah, boy. All right, well, let's find him. Follow him. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. God. I guess he's feeling better. A good job, Doc. All right, so I guess we got away from these guys. Let's go uh, go see if we can see where they are. They were behind us, so uh, let's go to 180. Yeah, it'll take a while to get there, apparently. We can do this a little faster. There we go. There they are, right there. I don't think they're, uh... I wish I could zoom in just one more notch. But our air quality is back up to 100%. Um, get the pump on, get some of the water out of there. And uh, the compressor. So, so, we have to go, we're going to go north. And then come over. And head this way like this. Uh, like I said, I think we got away from these, these guys. So, I don't really want to run right up on the surface just yet, because they are still right there. Um, so we can relax from action stations. Put you on the radio. So müde. So müde. Get these guys to bed. Uh. And who knows, maybe uh, Dr. Prine will make sure they're doing okay. I can't believe I just saw that twice. Good doctor, what is wrong with you? Okay, we're back. Uh, we got away from him. Captain is taking a look at what we have. We're still running with our deck of wash. Um, <coughs> but we did uh, get away from that major group here. Uh, good idea to drop down to periscope depth here. Oh, right in front of us. Shit. Hey. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf. 
Elf Uhr. That's an enemy destroyer. No, why are you on that? Zero Tiefe. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Go deep. Slow down. And away from them. We've got uh, two. Well, we got a Corvette. And a destroyer out here. I'm really hoping they didn't hear see me. Yeah, they're pretty close in. We managed to make a decent progress. But we were intercepted again. our depth now. And we're dropping rapidly. Another stressful situation for the crew of U-48. So it looks like uh, they're heading off. They're either going to turn around and come back this way. Oh, they are. So let's uh, let's just come to a stop here. Oh, we're pretty. We're deep. We're at. 133 meters right now. They might have some kind of an idea that we're here, but not exactly where. So we're gonna we're gonna go quiet. We're gonna have a collision. Uh oh. Uh oh. May have to start moving here pretty quick. Depth charges just yet. I think they might know something's here, but I guess it all depends on what this guy over here does. Oh, he's just gonna swap. He's just gonna swap the deck. Yeah, gotta make sure the deck's nice and clean. As long as you're not operating depth charges, you can do whatever you want. You need a new hat, too. Nice day at sea. Can't go through the wall and look at the interior. This is actually really nicely modeled. I 
got torpedo launchers. Uh, they're sitting right on top of us. Almost right on top of us. Let's start moving real slow. <laughs> Nerves are on edge in this episode, I guess. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Bestätigt. Ready to. Turning around there, buddy. See, the other problem is guy's gonna come down. Dude, they're looking. They're really looking, but I don't think they know exactly where we are. I don't want to risk going in any faster with them trolling around in this area. Now what they need to do is they need to just leave and then we could continue on our way. If he starts heading in this direction, I'm going to put my foot to the floor and go. If he doesn't... Eh. Is he going to finish his turn or is he going to turn back to port and come at us. I think he's going to finish his turn. I think they're heading off. Oh, maybe not. Cavitating. Yeah, we're definitely cavitating. Now oh, he's coming back. This is the cat and mouse of it. Got me on the edge of my seat. What about you? Oh, here, here's an unexpected development. We have another submarine. That submarine launched a torpedo. At... God knows who. They launched two torpedoes. Not entirely sure who they launched them. At, but they launched two torpedoes. Unless this is a uh, British launching torpedoes at our submarine. I don't know why they would do that. Though. There's nobody out there. Both the destroyers are back here. I don't know what 
just happened there? Are they depth charging them? Oh, we lost contact. That's why. But we got away. So there we are, way up here. Wait, what the hell's happening here? Capitaine? Can I control another submarine? I don't know. I have no idea what just happened there. It looked like I set a course for the other submarine. They're definitely at action stations. These guys manning the guns, they put down their brooms. Even you don't you don't see that very often. Oh well, uh have to buy the captain of that sub a pretty strong drink when we uh back to port if he lives. And happily, we have made it back to our base, New Rochelle. The only contact that we have uh, right now is a fishing boat that's either off our port bow. So we are going to uh, get into New Rochelle and uh, see what kind of reward we get for this and pick our next mission. Okay, David Peters receives a new decoration, the U-Boat War Badge with Diamonds. Decoration is awarded to crew members that participate in eight war patrols. This decoration was instituted from the personal initiative of Admiral Donuts. Dr. Ernst Prine. Iron Cross First Class is awarded for repeated acts of bravery in battle. It's higher tier of Iron Cross decoration and comes with a pin at the back instead of a ribbon. Oh, because he saved so many lives. Gustav Marx, Wilhelm Meyer, and Dietrich Luther. Gustav Marx gets points towards his first uh, Iron Cross. And Captain Krautman gains points towards the Knight's Cross with Oak Leafs. Determined torpedo course at the Rio San Juan. What I was told was a friendly ship. Captain Krautman has no friends. As you can see, he sank the Rio San Juan, so no German colonies in South America. This war. And he completed his assignment, so good job, Captain Krautman. Uh, the operation was a great success. The family of Kramer has reunited with him after months of absence. Kramer himself speaks about you with a high recognition. It's that you have gained an ally in high places. Uh, Naval Academy tasks will be unlocked on the headquarters map. We get a headquarters officer, I think. Whatever that is. $8,000 and 200 uh, prestige. Whatever. <laughs> We lost $200 and 50 prestige for sinking the Rio San Juan. <laughs> yep, nope, nobody saw that newspaper. Throw it away. All right, we sunk 2,859 tons of friendly shipping. We were out for five days, 14 hours, traveled 2,626 kilometers. And uh, let's see, that's all we need to look at there. All right, so we are back in port. We're having expended one torpedo. We're not going to worry about uh, 
re-upping our torpedoes, but what I am gonna do... Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Schau mal. These things. Potassium absorbers. We have room for them. We don't. Can we get rid of these potatoes? I guess we can get rid of the potatoes. There we go. Now we have potassium absorbers. Uh... Now why not? Take a free one. Uh, fuel. Go. Bye. Beim BDU wird Let's see what that uh, Naval Academy thing is all about. What's new in headquarters? Military stash. Uh, Norwegian Navy has stashed a large quantity of ammunition near Bergen to prevent it from falling into our hands. There are some leads that would let us narrow down its location. Oh boy. Naval Academy. Snorkels. Metox radar detector or military stash. Where's the Naval Academy? Right there. Naval Academy at Merwick is inviting officers from all U boats to lead various courses for the cadets. The officer may also learn a few things in the process by meeting the other veteran officers and exchanging experience with them. Okay. Snorkels. Fires an engineer. So, uh, let's. Isn't that the uh, Kriegsmarine official? I guess he's on our crew now. Let's send him to go uh, research snorkels. You know what? Why not? Let's do this. Naval Academy. Fires anybody. And you, probably not an officer, and may not be very smart, but where's that? All right. So now, espionage in Portsmouth Port. Transport a spy on harm to coordinates near Portsmouth Port. Right here. Maybe not. There it is, right there. It says it's low... Low difficulty. Goes this here. This is the one we're gonna do. Right? Move torpedoes from the ship and warehouse... For, <laughs> at the warehouse to free up space for seven mine packets. All right. Ten days later. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? We need mines, buddy. Schau mal. Yeah. How many mines did we need? I should have paid attention. Not removing all my torpedoes. We got one torpedo. All right, well, we aren't going to be... <laughs> we aren't going to be attacking anybody, that's for sure. 
Uh, this task will be completed in 15 days and 17 days for the snorkels. Uh, now we have to plant mines at the Strait of Gibraltar. Which is Maybe not. Yeah, right here. Plant mines at the Strait of Gibraltar. Okay, so we're going to leave and uh, plant some mines. Alright, so here is the dilemma I have run into. You, uh, you 1110, has sent us a message. Several widely separated smoke clouds in Naval Square CG-821, suspected convoy, northern course, which is right in our way, heading right for us. Um, there's still quite a ways out. Oh, we have two torpedoes. We have so many torpedoes, I thought I got rid of them all. Hang on a second. I was pretty sure I got rid of those torpedoes. We're doing maintenance on them right now. Let's see. We got mines. <laughs> We're... Mm, this could be a problem. Well... Maybe it's not so much of a dilemma as I thought. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of some of these torpedoes. Anyway, so. I wonder if I can move them. I can move them to storage and just replace them with mines. Uh, but for now, we're going to... See what happens with this here. If we can sink something on the way, great. If not, then... Whatever. It's not our mission. Yeah, look what we have. We have ourselves a tanker. It's a British tanker out there. So we've set course. We haven't dived yet. Um... He's going to get on the deck gun. We're going to shoot this thing. Because they're pretty close. So. We are going to shoot this thing. Alright. Enough screwing around here. Herr Kaloy. Zu Befehl. Oh, what'd you do? Yeah, I want you on the deck gun. I won't. Yeah, what? Trying to zoom in here. There we go. We're still pretty far away, so. Oh, well, not really, but. Probably only about two miles away. It would have provided a uh, good um, practice with the uh, torpedoes. And I do have to get rid of them. But for now, we're going to not waste the torpedoes. I want a convoy situation. Like I said, we came in pretty close to them, so... I don't even think we can uh, fire from this far... Hit them from this far out. We can try, though. not even hitting them. Not going to waste the ammo until we get into a better position to, to hit them. So we are moving uh, pretty quick. Let's get you there. Uh, let's try and find... Uh... Oh, never mind. 
wanted to try and stabilize the boat a little bit, but... I don't think that's possible here. He's got plenty of help, so... Let's get up to him and uh, start shooting. I accidentally popped off my last uh, explosive around here, so... We're going to have to use armor piercing. I'm really sure if I'm uh, hitting him. Looks like he's heading right at me. Not very nice. That went over. I think we're missing. Maybe I should just... Actually, looks like he's outpacing us now. You really need to get a lot closer here. There, that hit him. That missed him. I was thinking we might have to use a torpedo just for the sake that we can't really keep up with him. And this deck gun's hard to use. I keep missing. There we go, that scored a hit. Another glancing blow there. Let's speed up here. Trying to hit around his uh, propeller to see if we can't Put him out of commission here. Oops. That was a misclick. We're gonna run out of uh, ammo here. Oh no, we got 65 rounds. Definitely trying to get away. It's like he's listing too. She. hitting. Just don't think we're hitting in the right spots. He's definitely taking on a bit of a list. Oh. Wow, he sunk her. <laughs> All right. Well, we sunk the uh, raider. All right, send the message. Get out of her rigging. All right, let's come in close. Diese Koordinaten setzen. It usually tells you there's interactions nearby, but 
I better make sure we don't run into the damn thing. Alright, stop. Where's the lifeboats? I know I saw lifeboats. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I was sure I saw lifeboats there. But maybe not. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. I wonder if there's anything we could do with that. Wreckage. Nope. Alright, well that was our first experience with the deck gun for the, uh... That's U1... 1110. Alright, thanks for the heads up. Now let's get back to... Our mine laying. There is a U1110 off there. That's not very often that you get to see a uh, another U-boat on the surface. Or at all, really. I've never actually seen another U-boat except for the ones that have been... Uh, kind of helping us out keeping us alive but there she goes heading back I wonder if she's going back to New Rochelle uh, I haven't seen much of anything except for that tanker so uh, we might have just uh, taken U110's glory and leave it for ourselves so let's get our course set get in here to um, lay some mines. There is one thing I want to do, though. Let's see if I can move the uh, move the torpedoes to storage. I don't think I can. Might have just completely messed this up. We may have to use some of these torpedoes up just to uh make space. We have to go hunting for something. I think I found a way to get rid of some of our torpedoes. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a destroyer, but that is okay. It's a two-stack destroyer. Two close stacks. Tribal? Thinking she's a tribal. Sitting right on our objective, too, so. Let's, uh. Check her velocity. I am gonna have to swing around to, uh. Bring our bow tubes to bear. Let's go with that. 28 knots. Wow. Yeah, I know. Three miles. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. See if we can even get into position to attack this. We're not going to be able to. There's propellers. Oh my lord. There are a lot of ships out here. Okay. Yeah. If they're all warships. Oh, we got lots to choose from. We're supposed to mine this, but uh, we can't do it with... Um, we can't do it with the, uh, tubes full of 
everything but mines. It's on lock from you. Uh, we're gonna head over this way uh, and see what we can uh, come up with. May have to sink uh, one at a time, which I'm okay with. Um, uh, let's six miles all right we're gonna move in on these guys here uh, start seeing what we can uh, what we can do to get rid of some of our torpedoes and that's gonna do it for today's episode we will continue this in the next episode episode number seven um, U-48 is in a decent position to attack, uh, with our four torpedoes that we have in the bow. Uh, one here, one here, and then a group of one to three here, so, um, problem being is once we sink one of them, everyone's gonna come looking, so. It's gonna be a tough, uh, a tough sell, to say the least. That next, this next episode should be, uh, action-packed and very exciting. This one wasn't bad. Um, I had fun recording it. Learned a few things, like uh, you can run your oxygen levels down to zero and your crew won't die. Especially if Dr. Prine is on scene and lends a helping hand. We'll not go there, though. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to follow along, hit the subscribe, and we will pick this up in episode 7. Day76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.